You're watching the Game Show Network. Get some new batteries for that remote. Hey, do you want to win decorative, time-saving, or just plain adorable gifts? Then let's play the Lillian Burner Game Show, sponsored by the Lillian Burner Catalog, the catalog that pays a monthly visit to your mailbox. It's the source for all of your unique novelty needs like the hair clipping umbrella catcher, an essential tool for the home stylist who likes hair on the floor, not me. <laughs> and the talking to Lula toilet seat cover cow. Your house guests will get a real kick when they hear Tallulah say, say it, don't spray it, and thanks for dropping in. <laughs> And here's the host of the Lillian Burner Game Show, Dale Brisket. <laughs> Holy moly! Hi, everybody! Hi, Dale! <laughs> Hi, Simeon! <laughs> That's a nice sweater. Thank you, Dale. I got it from my dead uncle. <laughs> You! <laughs> hey, check out my Lillian Verner t-shirt. It says you can either agree with me or be wrong. <laughs> now, my wife gave me this t-shirt, and I don't know why, because according to her, I'm always wrong. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's her t-shirt. <laughs> I have a wife? What? What? <laughs> Let's meet our contestants. Okay, Gail Cinder, you're a homemaker from Odessa, Texas. Tell us something about yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Gail Cinder, and I'm from Odessa, Texas, and uh, I am a homemaker. Hmm. I wonder where I heard all that before. <laughs> all right. Carol City. You are a homemaker from Racine, Wisconsin. Why don't you tell us something about yourself that I didn't just say? <laughs> yeah, well, okay, well, I'll try. Um... <laughs> I tell you, I like to roll nickels. Okay. And I have a uh, windmill magnet collection. <laughs> My daughter's my best friend. <laughs> well, I sure hope your... I sure hope your husband comes in a close second. Yeah, well, he would if he'd help me roll nickels. <laughs> oh, hey, there's returning champion Stan Clayton. <laughs> I hope you're feeling less nervous today. I, I, I am. Not! <laughs> Don't worry, though. I'm wearing my Lillian Werner pit sweat protectors. Mm, nice, nice. Hey, I have a question. When is this game gonna start? <laughs> Do you know, Simeon? I don't know. I don't know nothing. <laughs> I love when you do that. I love you. I love you. Okay. I love you right back, sugar. Ooh, got it. Pocket. Save him. All right. Hey, contestants. Hands on your frogs, people. All of our contestants will croak in their answers with the stylish Lillian Burner Frog Buzzer. Perfect for home and office. Now, contestants, we will show you the Lillian Burner Value product, and you give us the name. Here we go. <laughs> Carol, I believe you croaked in, Carol. Yep. The cordless, painless, silent nose hair trimmer. Ooh! No, you idiot, no. <laughs> yes, Stan. It's the pick and pull pimple zapper. <laughs> That's it. Good for you, Stan. Let's put $5 in Stan's bank. Hey, Gail, where were you? You know, it's these you know, crazy frogs. They look so lifelike, I was afraid to hit it. Well, get over it, Krispy Kreme! Because we're moving on. Here we go. This is the Lillian Werner T-shirt saying showdown. We'll show you part of the phrase. You got to finish it. Here we go. 
I don't wake up, Krabby. Oh, God. Yes. Gail! Gail! Oh, God, I know this. Oh, uh, I didn't wake up Krabby. He woke up by himself. <laughs> oh! You got it, Gumdrop. Good for you, Gail. Let's put $5 in her bank. Now we're going to show you a product, and you guys tell us what it says. It is the finger pulling fart and Santa. Oh. Yes, Carol. It's Mary Fartmas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jingle bells, Santa smells. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Carol. There's one more saying, Carol. One more. Come on, Carol. Come on, Carol. Carol, come on. Carol, one more. Carol. Christmas is a gas. Well played, but no. <laughs> Hey, watch your language, Carol. This isn't Jeopardy. <laughs> yes, Stan. Uh, something just came down the chimney. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Something just came down the chimney. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> and that means that the game is over. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know. It's sad. <laughs> It went so fast, didn't it, Simeon? <laughs> yes, but I'm on ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that is the end of the game. And with $10 in his bank, Stan is our winner once again. <laughs> it has been a terrific show. And from the Lily and Werner family, remember, we may make crappy gifts, but they're cheap. <laughs> From me and Simeon. <laughs> Toodle Lily, good night, everybody. Oh. Real quiet. <laughs> I, I said, come in. Oh, huh? <laughs> Let's put the baby to sleep, Aunt Lorraine. Mm -hmm. Come in. Mm -hmm. All right, he's right here. Yeah. Okay. Just thought I, you know, get a little gander at the tight before we took off on our own. Huh? Got to get Carl home. He's got a real bad case of gas. Good <laughs> <laughs> thing he's not in here. Boy, that'd wake her up. <laughs> Oh. I just put him down. He's having problems with his colic. Huh? With colic. Huh. It's an upset stomach. Why don't you just rub a little vermouth on her gums? And what's her name's gums? That'll. It's a, it's a boy, and his name is Dakota. Dak. Dick. Dakota. Dick. Dakota. 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 To the Indian tribe. Grapes, you know. Name your baby after an Indian. She's sure to like that vermouth. It's a boy. Huh? It's a boy. <laughs> See, you got the gift I sent you. Yes, I got that from the Lillian Vernon catalog. I also got myself one of them squirrel chairs. That's nice. <laughs> so much yeah, I know. Oh, oh hey, look, shh, go, go know, over here. Shh, go over this way. Go over there. <laughs> Taking out the kids' room. Cluster's last stand over here, ladies. They're not a toys. Hi, yeah, they were cute. Where's Custer? Oh! You do it! Stop it! Hey, go on! Stop it! These are expensive! Give me a 
month to do. See, is this a horse blanket? No. Huh? No, it's not a horse blanket. Hey! The make smoke signals. It's dirty, the make smoke signals. A. B. C. Stop. You got a little goop on you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, those baby wipes around? Yeah, they're over there on the uh, table. There they are. It's not my eye. There you go. Here, just wipe it a little. Uh, <laughs> Pipes are wetter than a noodle, Steve. Just put a little talc on it. No, I don't want any talc on it. Aren't you? I just put a little on it. I don't want talc on it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Down the bed, he's away. Huh? Now he's away. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. That's not the way you rock a baby. Here, let him, let an old mother crow. Fine, you. here, uh -huh. fine. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. cuter than a cricket, though, isn't she? It's a boy. It has a penis. Yeah. It's a boy. <laughs> I have. Oh, yeah. I have a TV. Matter. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, get out of the window! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out. Get out. Get out. Listen, listen. Get her with the baby. Oh, she's fine. She's fine. Listen, you gotta understand that babies like to be next to the heartbeat of a mother. It makes them fall asleep. You are not his mother. You're barely his aunt. You don't know that. <laughs> don't oh, lose. Here you go. This is real comfy down here. Huh? Yeah, I mean, for a baby. A person could pretty much almost just go right. Oh. Or and wake up. Ma'am, let me go over this one more time for you. We have the following kinds of stamps. Love, wildflowers, vintage planes, songbirds, famous gays, and cuts of meat. Oh, oh, okay, give me the Negro leader stamps. Did I say Negro leader stamps? I didn't. We don't have them, okay? We only have them during Black History Month, and this is White History Month. So pick a white person stamp. You don't have a Mary MacLeod Bethune stamp laying around anywhere. Who? Oh, let's see. A lot of folks don't know who she is. But she was very important for the education of Negro women. You know, see, I just don't care. <laughs> but what about my stamp? What about this? Uh, Look. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Next. <laughs> You happen to know I think I have a hernia. You got one of these monsters coming to you every day. What is up with you? I'm a bowling ball dealer. <laughs> now these need to go out. I do all my work on eBay. I... Computers make my job so easy. Aren't you precious? <laughs> oh, what about a George Washington Carver stamp? Now see, he invented peanut butter. That's it. I can't take it anymore. Oh, hey, you know, everybody, get everybody down. Everybody in the deck. Oh. You're going down. Everybody's gonna die. <laughs> Paul, what are you doing? Well, Lloyd, I'm 
I'm actually going on a killing spree. What in God's name does it look like? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going on a killing spree today, okay? I planned this out very carefully. You're gonna have to pick a different day. I'm sorry. No way. This is the anniversary of my stepfather breaking my arm, and I'm talking about a compound fracture, Lloyd. All right, yeah, I'm very sorry about that, but this is the anniversary of my stepfather breaking my arm and then raping me. Then posting pictures of it on the internet using a slide whistle sound effect. That's a little worse. Thank but you. Just hear me out here. I already wrote my suicide note and left it on the mantle at home. Now it's too embarrassing to go back there. Well, Come on. Nice. All right, everybody, kiss your asses goodbye. Well, <laughs> Wait a minute, not you two. You know, I wish you guys would have said something. I mean, everyone knows that I'm a ticking time bomb, but... I... What's got you so pissed off, Curtis? I was fired. Oh, kindly cry me a river. That is so weak. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, I know. I... I just wanted to kill some people. You know, I've been killing animals for quite some time, and I just thought it was better to move up to bigger prey. Please, while you guys work this all out, can we go? Oh, shut up, or I'll give you a second butthole. Hey, you're good, man. I'm impressed. Thanks, thanks, Lloyd. I actually took the time to practice that in the mirror at home. Check this out. You shut up, or I'll give you a second butthole. You shut up, or I'll give you a second butthole. You shut up, or I'll give you a second butthole. I hate to pull rank on you guys, but I've got seniority here, so this killing spree is mine. Yeah, I'm well, sorry. I'm the one with the bigger gun, so I say I'm doing it. That is so cliche. They say, they say we share the killing spree. <laughs> Girl, share a spree? We're not shopping here, sweetie. <laughs> Just promise me, though, that I get to go down to accounting and pop Louise. I hate that cow. 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 Louise is my girlfriend. And I'm killing her. Oh. I just went and saw Louise, uh, and uh, she's out with the flow. Are, are you kidding me? That is such horse crack. She's always screwing me over. Okay, okay, look. You kill Louise later on. Okay. Of course, I won't be available to assist you on account of my commitment to my suicide. All right. All right, everybody hit the deck! <laughs> What, did a memo go out or something? <laughs> okay, now, uh, what's your story? Why you hate being a postman? I'm not a postman. I'm robbing you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now, contestants, we will show you the Lillian Verner value product, and you give us the name. Here we go. <laughs> yes! Carol! <laughs> Carol, I believe you croaked in. Carol, you croaked in? Go ahead, Andrew, what's the product? <laughs> Time. This is the Lillian Burner Value product, and you have to tell us what it is. Here we go. Hey, folks, John Madden here, and welcome to the special Fox presentation. A while back, there was a show called Man vs. Beast, and our species didn't do so good. In fact, the ratings didn't do so good either. But hey, 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 that's fun. You know, and Fox, they never give up on a bad idea. And, and tonight's proof, because we're going to try it again. Celebrity Man vs. Beast. Same crap, bigger names. Crappy names. Tonight, music legend Reba McIntyre takes on a Louisiana bullfrog in a battle of the paddle. So, Reba, you think this frog's got a chance? Are you kidding me? I was a table tennis champion before this one was even a tadpole. <laughs> he's good. I'll get him, but he's good. <laughs> the original diva, Little Richard, squares off against... Tasmanian Billy Goat in a challenge of strength and determination. Who can do the most chin-ups? Now, let me get this straight. You want Little Richard to get up here and get all sweaty. Fat man, please, do you know how old I am? Oprah Winfrey, the richest woman in the world, matches wits with a chicken in a game of chess. See, what's happening here, folks, is that Oprah has sacrificed her horsey and she's lured the chicken into a trap. I mean, it looks like it might be all over. There. Check, girlfriend. Check. Yes. Holy smokes, folks. 
Checkmate! Checkmate! The chicken wins! The chicken wins! Coming up next, our host John Madden wrestles a cute little fluffy kitten to the death. I'll get you now, you son of a bitch! Of Johnny Wu's liquor store and Super Lotto Emporia! <laughs> With five ghetto fabulous locations. Holla! <laughs> All my friends think I'm crazy, but I love black people, and black people love Johnny, Johnny Wu's liquor, liquor store and Super Lotto Emporia! <laughs> the big chain stores won't come to your neighborhood. So what? Let Woo's be your community grocery. Back to school special, Smirnoff Ice, $5.99. And all Woo stores are designed to fit your family needs. Loose cigarettes, two for a dollar. <laughs> and remember, at Woo's, service is job one. Hey, Mr. Woo. Call me Johnny, we're family here. OK, Johnny. Listen, man, where do you keep your Doritos? I th I th over there. staff is always here to help. In fact, we're so friendly, we help you shop. <laughs> and don't forget to join our 40 Fuddy Club. Buy 40, 40 ounces and get 40 cents off the next one. <laughs> Security camera too. When you're here, I'm watching you. Good evening. The success of The Sopranos has ignited another love affair with the organized crime drama not seen since Francis Ford Coppola's godfather back in 1972. But what are those people actually involved in organized crime? Think of this phenomenon. Tonight, I ask three very real members of the Mafia what they think of The Sopranos. At their request, we've disguised their faces and voices to protect their identities. Paul, not his real name, works for a prominent crime syndicate in a major metropolitan city. Alan, again, not his real name, is a bagman for a powerful crime family operating in the tri-state area. And if you think the mob is strictly a men's club, please welcome Helen, which is her real name, who is married to an influential West Coast mafioso. Paul, let's begin with you. Is The Sopranos an accurate depiction of mob life as you know it? No way. Not even close. The Sopranos is a joke. If those guys in The Sopranos were in my crew, I'd kill them all. I'd stick a gun in their mouth and blow their brains out the back of their heads. Then I'd cut them up and mail the pieces to their families. <laughs> I agree with Paul there. It's ridiculous. On The Sopranos, they kill a guy in like two minutes. You know how hard it is to kill a guy in real life? No, but I was in a bar fight once. <laughs> a bar fight? Oh, we haven't heard from you on this subject. I hate that Carmela Soprano. She treats her husband like dirt. Where I come from, you don't disrespect your husband. My brother's wife, she disrespected him, right? I went into her house with the weed whacker, whacked off her fingers. <laughs> Chopped up a chest pretty good, too. Yeah, sliced off her nose, her ears, whole face, stuffed it in her mouth, huh? Oh, shoved it, all of it, into her fire. Back on! So I gather there are very few members of organized crime that enjoy The Sopranos. It sucks. I hate it. They got no respect. When you look at me, you better have some respect. Point taken. We have to take a short break. When we come back, my face will be distorted to where I look attractive. Hello there. 
Welcome to another episode of Drawing with Jerry. I'm Jerry Van Sant. You can call me friend. For those of you who are tuning in today and wondering what happened to the show for the past few weeks, no, we were not canceled. I was just taking some time off, tending to some personal business, and fighting a restraining order filed by my ex-wife, Barbara. I would like to take a moment right now and wish Barbara well, but I'm not allowed to address her directly, even through this program. So I guess I would like to say to all of the ladies watching today, how are you? I miss you. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, when we left off a couple of weeks ago, we were drawing our dream house, which we have right here. Boy, that is pretty. I almost forgot how beautiful a home can be. It's so much better than a studio apartment in Pacoima, which is all I can afford now that I'm going through a messy divorce. <laughs> you know what I like about this drawing is, it's such a vivid drawing, you can almost tell what kind of people live in this house. We have a beautiful wife, two wonderful children, and a daddy who's just trying to make sense of things. You know, landscaping can only be created by a gardener or a well-hung illegal alien named Jorge. Jorge likes beautiful flowers and beautiful married women. And no matter what job Jorge's doing, I can guarantee you he likes to throw his back into it. Boy, there sure are a lot of surprises in our dream home, aren't there? In drawing terms, that's called perspective. Perspective is something you can also lose when you're in a volatile relationship. <laughs> Let's talk about lighting for a moment, shall we? For my money, fire often provides the most beautiful glow. Caleb, Wendy, if you're watching right now, Daddy misses you and wonders where you are, and you don't have to be afraid. Okay. Let's just put the final touches on our drawing, because it's important to know when a piece is finished. Otherwise, you can obsess on it. And you can never really make anything perfect, can you? No matter how hard you try. No, you can't. There's just no making some things perfect. So why even bother? Why? Why even bother? Barbara, why did you betray me? Why don't you give me another chance? Barbara! Bar We're sorry. Drawing with Jerry has been suspended indefinitely. Please stay tuned for more quality programming. Right here on PBS. Hey. Hey. So how did it go? How is Howard? Not good. Kelly left him. No, can you believe it? That's like the fourth dude I know whose wife just took off. And it's like there must be something in the water, you know? Oh, man, these shoes reek. <laughs> smell like dog poo. Smell that. No, no smell it. Smell it, really. Isn't that like dog poo? I can't believe it. Oh, and, you know, the thing is, like, Howard is such a great guy. I can't believe that Kelly would just leave him, you know? I mean, he is the best dude. It's... <sighs> Oh, you're stubborn. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, thanks. Anyway, I mean, like, I asked him, maybe you did something, maybe you yelled her, maybe you ignored her, I don't know, and he just said no, he didn't, so. <laughs> In fact, he said, for a matter of fact, that he didn't spend any more time with her than normal, like, they've been hanging out together, like, all the time, you know? Oh, man, look at that zit on my neck. Oh, that is huge. Oh. You know, so I asked maybe, like, maybe, maybe she's a lesbian, you know, and I asked Howard that, and he's like, nope, he was really adamant about oh, it. Oh, come on, she's not a lesbian. I don't know, she could be. Oh, God, this one is a fighter. <laughs> oh, got it. Look at, look at that. Can you believe that? That was unbelievable. Am I bleeding? No. Are you sure? Yes. That's a clean pop. <laughs> anyway. like, why would a woman just leave a man like that? It's, I, I keep going back to the lesbian thing. I just figured, you know, I'd, maybe all their wives are just 
lesbians and they're all, you know, holed up somewhere, you know? I just, I can't get past that notion, you know? And it's like, I honestly, I, I think about it a lot, you know? It crosses my mind. If they're not lesbians, I don't know, then something is definitely up, you know? Because out of all of my friends, like Wally, Ox, Frank, Howard, you know, they're like the best dudes I know, you know? And somebody's got to give birth. Hold on a sec. <laughs> They're not, you know, they're not aggressive. You know, they, they, like, they're not jerks at all. I mean, none of them would even think about cheating on their wives, you know? It's just, I can't think of a single reason why their wives would leave them, you know? <laughs> Boy. Oh. Goodbye. I guess I'll wipe tomorrow. Uh, anyway, uh, hey, what's that for? I'm leaving you. You know, that's not a very funny joke. Oh, it is not a joke. I'll be back tomorrow to get my things. Well, wait a minute. Fine, go ahead, you dyke. <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> Hey, this is only 48 cents. The register, which knows what it's doing, says $1.58. Sorry, I just pulled a quadruple shift. I don't need to know that you're more pathetic than you look, <laughs> moron. <laughs> just a pack of gum and... Libby? Is that you? <laughs> Carol! Carol Shoelander! You look great! Have you lost weight? Nope. Are you applying your makeup differently? Bleaching your teeth? Dating a Spaniard? <laughs> None of the above. I just got back from a two-week vacation in Orlando, Florida. I could never afford that. I work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, for $3.50 an hour. It hardly seems worth it. You need to do what I did. Hello, I'm Bob Trapnell. I played the mean customer earlier in this commercial. At the Hemet Institute of Specialized Technology, you can earn your degree in any number of these exciting fields, such as VCR and TV repair, dental technician, and those are just two. We offer many challenging careers, like private investigator, pastry chef, matador, child masseuse, cowboy, air traffic controller, shaman, Ditch design, Mexican League baseball mascot, pugilist, dance captain, cat lover, vandal, nine volt battery tester, delightful alcoholic, horse shaver, fluffer, dungeon master, congressman, frighteningly realistic Asian puppetry, caveman, lobster claw rubber band application, handsome midget, raw tester, gypsy telemarketer, Maria Shriver, Don Johnson, Oak Desk, Wine Rack. We also offer exciting careers in the medical fields, such as colon scraping, acne lancing, testicle photography, burn board gauze applicator, vomit receptacle cleaner, hospital cafeteria potato salad maker, waiting room extra, kids ward clown, pill thief, heavy set nurse's aide, and cop drinking coffee outside injured witness room. And that's not all. We offer over 58,000 additional courses, all taught by our three fully accredited specialists. So call them today. One of them should answer. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to playing the mean customer. Learn how to count, retard. Well, Libby, I'd love to stay and tell you more, but I've got to get back to my exciting new job at the animal shelter. I compress infected fluids out of animal anal sacs. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. I'll call right now. Oops. The Hammond Institute of Specialized Technology. Your future is just down the road in an L-shaped mini mall next to a Korean nail salon.
your substitute teacher. Yes, I am your substitute teacher. Your regular teacher quit yesterday because I tripled the kids in class. The school gave her a cut in pay and she got shot in the ass. They tried to find another teacher. Yes, they did. No one wants to be your teacher. Sorry, kids. So they found me living under a bridge. They found me high as a kite. They asked me, would you like to teach? And I said, sure, all right. Now I'm here. Where's my beer? I'm a substitute teacher. Time for math. Let's multiply by three. Three, six, nine. Twelve, forty-seven, nine. Eight, seven, next. Then one hundred. Everybody. Three, six, nine. you know when the melanoma starts to blister. Uh, all right, then. Where would you like me to pitch you? Gee, I don't know. How about somewhere in the shade, you dumbass? <laughs> you just shut up. <laughs> you know, I was just trying to help you. You want to help me? Next time, close the door when you're taking a dump. <laughs> just quit it, Daddy. <laughs> I put signs up all along Raymond Boulevard that we're having a garage sale. You think anybody gonna see them? No, everybody went blind the minute they got a look at you, you ugly boys. Oh, yeah? Well, then that means my mama was a walrus and you had sex with the walrus, Daddy. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi. Hey, how you doing? Do you come for the garage sale? No, he came for the strip show, so get to it, Jab of the Hole. Just shut up. Shut up, Daddy. The hangers right there, those, uh, I marked them 50 cents. He didn't come for the hangers. You can get them for free at the cleaners, you stupid moose. So, wrong, Daddy. You wrong. Not everybody goes to the cleaners. I don't go to the cleaners. That's because you can't fit through the door, even if they chopped you in half and buttered all four sides. <laughs> You know, shut up. Nobody's even listening to you. Nobody even listens to a word you say. Uh, actually, this quilt is uh, rather nice. How much you want for it? Oh, this quilt here is an antique sewn by old ladies. And I marked it for $100. $100? That thing was used to line the dog's bed. <laughs> Daddy, we don't even have a dog. Look in the mirror, Cujo. <laughs> Look in the mirror, huh? <laughs> you look in the mirror. So this uh, this quilt, you buying that for your wife? Uh, no, actually, uh, I'm not married. Oh. <laughs> hey, my name's Sandy. He don't want to flirt with you, Sandy. Shut up. I'm just talking to the man. It's a waste of time. He doesn't speak hunchback. <laughs> At least I can wipe my own ass. You know what? That uh, doesn't seem like the best time. M maybe I should just go. No, no, no. Wait, wait. How about, how about some lemonade? I just I made it fresh all by myself. <laughs> yeah, with her own two hooves. <laughs> uh, thank you, but uh, I really, I should go. So, well, wait. What about the quilt? Well, it's not quite what I'm looking for. What is it you're looking for? An escape route. <laughs> Shut up. Look, I'm sorry. I, I just, I should go. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, tell all your friends we're here. 
Yeah, tell him you saw a buffalo standing upright. <laughs> can walk. <laughs> you can't walk, Daddy. You can look. <laughs> That's you trying to walk, Daddy. Excuse me. I know that this is none of my business, but I just so happen to be a family therapist, and it looks like both of you could do with some counseling. The way that you speak to each other is completely abusive. Take a hike, Dr. Laura. <laughs> Shut up, Daddy. <laughs> Stay out of this, SpongeBob fat ass. Oh, yeah, cram it, dead legs. <laughs> See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Now, sir, I want you to say something nice about your daughter, even though it may be difficult. Why? Why would it be difficult? Well, because, as he said, you're large and you have facial hair. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> no! Nobody talks to my fat, ugly daughter like that. Hey, shut up, Daddy. I am defending you, ass brain. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't know. I had no way of knowing. That's because you are a moron. <laughs> Get out. Yeah, go Get on. Out or Get out of here. Fine, you people are hopeless. Yeah, go on. You know why? Because you're not even my top. Yeah, you're human. Yeah. <laughs> shut up. But you're going inside. I am not yes, going inside. Yes, you are. I'm going to put you by the oven. No, you yes, ain't. Yes, I am. with being naked in public, well, <laughs> seems to think you need a male influence in your life. I don't need a male influence. <laughs> Sorry, now don't be such a sour patch kid. <laughs> oh, your father rented a beach house. Which reminds me, I couldn't find your bathing suit anywhere. Where is it? I'm wearing it. <laughs> Right. 
You do need a male influence. You've just gotten too big for me to discipline. Oh, remember what happened the last time I tried to spank you? You broke a wooden spoon on my smelly slot. Stuart, don't talk dirty. What does Mama say about little boys who talk dirty? Little boys who talk dirty grow up to be Democrats. That's right. No, no. No, no cookies, absolutely not. You're gonna get hyper. I am not hyper. Look what I can do. is not holding at all. <laughs> well, that's it. I am definitely... I tell you, I am definitely gonna have you test it. Oh, that must be your father. to me every time he comes around. <laughs> Stuart, we've never been apart for a full weekend. We've never been apart for a full hour. <laughs> Are you scared? A little. <laughs> well, Stuart, I wish there was some way that I could make that feeling go away. <laughs> Well, all right, but just one. There you go. No, Stuart, Mama said just one! Oh! oh. <laughs> well, you just always find a way to play me, don't ya? It's like I'm Beethoven and you're a fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> Give Mama a hug, goodbye. Oh, there we go. Are you gonna be a good boy for your father? No. Good. Give him help. <laughs> Look what I can do. <laughs> oh.
I'll never get used to Pierce Brosnan as James Bond. Yeah, but Halle Berry, yeah. Oscar winner. Yeah. So this is where I live. Wow, Greg, I had no idea. <laughs> no idea you were such a Lucille Ball fan. Oh, all that stuff uh, belongs to my brother, Cyril. He lives here, too. Oh. Yeah. So, what you want to do? I don't know. You want to sit? <laughs> Hey, Cyril. We wake you up? Uh, I just can't sleep again. <laughs> That's what's doing it. It's loaded with caffeine. What the do? Ah, man, it's, it's refreshing. It's, it's like a golden shower in my mouth. <laughs> he, he doesn't know what it's, he's saying. That's okay. That's all right. Hi, Cyril. I'm Marla. You got red hair. Like Lucy. Oh. Yeah, I, I do. I was noticing all of your, your collectibles. It's really, really cool. Pretty killer, huh? See that one right over there with Lucy and Ethel and they're eating all that candy? Got that one today while I was washing my van. He likes to buy all of his art from the Third Street car wash. Man, you know what else, Greg? Greg, check this out. I'm gonna get the other thing, that plate that I was telling you about on that exclusive TV offer, the one with Lucy and Ethel and Fred and Ricky, and they're, they're all in the car. And they're singing, they're, you know that, because their mouths are, they're open. And they're singing, and it's called California, Here We Come. Yeah. And it's, you know what, check it out. Greg, it's recommended, Greg. What? It's recommended by the Bradford Exchange. <laughs> they claim that the plate may go up in value. Oh, oh it's gonna, Greg. It's gonna, man. It's tall. Oh. <laughs> so, wow, you are a real Lucille Ball freak. Freak? <laughs> Why are you calling me a freak? No, no, she just means that you like Lucy a lot. <laughs> Cyril, you can come in. You don't have to just hang out in the doorway. Nah, I don't want to bother you. Hey, Greg, 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 <laughs> Greg. Yeah. You know what I saw tonight? That show Charmed. You ever seen that show Charmed? It's got, it's like, uh, it's got, uh, they're three sisters and they're, they're like all magic. And they're, oh, man, they're so fine, man, Greg. They are so hot. One of them, Greg, one of them is Melissa Milano. Greg, and she's, what is she, oh, she's on that show with Danny Danza, which one's the boss? Greg, oh, Greg, she's so hot. You know, I don't know which one is the boss, but she could be the boss of me anytime. You know? That sounds like a great show, oh, Sam. Oh, it's a great show, Greg. You know what's always good is that show? That, Greg, Greg, that other show? Um, People's Choice. That show, Greg, man, that show is killer. Greg. <laughs> Name somebody. Name anybody. I bet they're on that show. Uh, Jim Carrey. Yeah, Greg. He was on that show. Good call. Good call. We saw the new James Bond movie tonight. Who's it? Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan's got a neck too skinny to be James Bond. <laughs> Who else? Halle Berry. Halle Berry? Oh, man, Halle Berry. Oh, man, did you see her in Monsters Balls? Oh, man. Oh, man, that dude, that is, that is some, oh, man, she gives me bonage, man. She, she gives me like, bow. Man, oh, man, does Halle Berry give you bonage, huh? What about Marla, does Marla? Was she too white? What, what, Greg? If you're getting boned, you just say the word, man. You know what I'll do? I, I'll close my eyes. You know, I think, I think I'd better go. Yeah. Sorry. Um, oh, man, look at that. That's Halle Berry behind. Ow! Oh, that's nice. Shut up, Cyril. You want me to make me shut up, home yeah, man? shut up. Well, watch this. His mouth keeps going, and so do these, man. Come on. You want to? You want to? Huh? Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> 
That's right. That's my, that's my mouth. <laughs> huh? Come on, let's go. So, I'm, I'm winded. I'll see you later. Wait, look, look. I'll call you tomorrow. That was weird, man. Sorry about that. She was coming on to me big time. <laughs> she was, man, huh? She was. My fingers hurt. Go to bed. All right. That's where I sleep. <laughs> hey, Greg. Yeah? Greg. What? Greg. What? Greg. What? Night. enjoyed music from the world's number one pop diva, Whitney Houston. Well, she's back, and she's using her golden voice to bring us some great American classics with her double CD set, Whitney Screws Up the Classics. What the worms feel now is rough. as Whitney screws up your favorite classics over and wait, over wait, wait, wait. again. Who told you to stop the music? Who told you to stop? Bitch, who told you to stop? Who told you to stop? AJ, you tell him Bobby's college fund is not for bail. I'm not playing. Smoking on a dive of a babe. Watching my time, but roll away. Ooh, I'm just smoking on a No, not Whitney. She's high, and we've recorded her on her double CD collection. Listen as she screws up one song after another. I need to have no baby. I need to get off this tour and crap. <laughs> y'all are, are messed up. <laughs> y'all I said fix it. Come on, let's go. That's right. Come on, y'all. That's good. I'm ready. Who's messing with me? Even her pimp, I, I mean husband, her husband, gets into the act. Yeah. Like sweet mountain dew. Uh -huh. Jab, jab, but do. Like plain sea. You like the Limburger cheese. I dedicate my life. I love apple pie. It was just a neat to play with my Wait, 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 baby, baby, I, I, I'm sorry. Nigga need hit. Bobby, you ain't had a hit in 10 years. Well, I'm about to have one right now. Girl, move out the no, way. Don't you ever something. touch my body. No. Yo, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Order now to get your copy of Whitney Houston Screws Up the Classics. Let's do this again. Come on, come on, come on, y'all. All, All y proceeds will go to time. the Bobby Brown Baby Mama. I gotta go back to Jersey. Y'all messing with my time. I got a baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Don't whine. What's Mama say when little boys whine? When little boys whine, it's like saying to the kidnapper, I'm simple and can't remember my name. Take me. Stuart? Oh, no. Stuart, that's just too afraid. I'm just afraid you're... Well, i got to check it out. I'm afraid your personal candy is going to fall right out. You know, just test it out. See, can you do anything active in that thing? No! Whoa! 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sir, why does everything always have to be an argument with us? It doesn't. Yes, it does. I said it doesn't. It does, too. I said it doesn't. Well, I said it does. It does. Yes, it does. It does. Yes, it does. It does, too. It does, too. Time for First to a Million. Now, here's your host, Peter Marshall. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, and good evening. Welcome to First to a Million. Hi, Ben. Hi, Judy. How you doing? Nice to see you. Are you ready to play the game? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the rules are very simple. The first contestant to win a million points wins the game. Okay, here we go. Today's categories. The categories are Impressionist Art, Academy Awards, Presidents, World War II, Ancient Civilizations, and Potluck. Okay, Ben, you want to toss backstage? You'll start. Where are you going? Uh, I'll try Presidents, Peter. All righty. Which president dropped the bomb on Hiroshima? Ben, you got it. Harry Truman. That's it. Harry Truman. <laughs> Terrific, Ben. Terrific. You have got one point. Where to next? <laughs> ben, where next? Uh, I guess I'll stick with presidents, Jim. All righty, here we go. Which president ascended to office when Abraham Lincoln was assassinated? Ah, Ben, you got it again. Andrew Johnson? Way to go, Ben, way to go. Make it two to nothing. Ben, you're still in control. Uh, okay, pick a category. It's two to nothing, Ben. Uh, Peter, is there a category where the questions are worth more? Worth more what? <laughs> you know, worth more than one point. So you're thinking that maybe uh, we have some questions that are perhaps worth two points, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Uh, no, we, I, we don't have any of those. Uh, uh, all right, continue. Peter, uh, this is pointless. Judy, I know it seems like you're way behind now, but trust me, dear, you're still in the game. It's rare, but I've seen people come back from two zero deficits before, so don't give up. <laughs> Give up. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the lightning round here on First to a Million. <laughs> what is 10 times 5? 50. Congratulations, Ben. You have just reached 11,000 points. Hey, what be? Hey, are we gonna get some dinner? The dinner, of course not. <laughs> now, we need another category. Ben, your turn. Uh, why don't we try ancient civilizations for one? <laughs> Hi, I just have a line. What's going on? For $200, you get to be John Malkovich for 15 minutes. You'll see and experience everything that Malkovich does. Wow, that's a little steep. Do you have a first-time discount? Nope, that's $200. I've got 52. 52, huh? Well, we do have something. Step this way. <laughs> Just crawl right in. in here from the people who brought you being john malkovich it's being james brown i get to see what the godfather of soul is like on a date oh my god I want to run no TV. It's my seat. 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 It
gotta have it. Turn it all the way up. The? Here we go. Oh, oh my God, no, Mr. Mr. Brown, don't do it. who sees being James Brown on a bootleg tape near you. Hey there, good afternoon. Yeah, how you doing, officer? Excuse me for asking, but why'd you pull me over? You were speeding. No, I wasn't. I was at a stoplight. I, uh... uh <laughs> taillight was out. That's impossible. This is a brand new car. Uh... You fit the description. Now get out of the car. Wait, description? Get out of the car. Gonna be here for a while? Have a Snickers bar. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Scott Seitz. I'm here for the NYPD Blue Audition. Okay, there's a script. Please have a seat with the others. Thanks. Bitch better have my money. Bitch better have my money. <laughs> Bitch, you better have my money. <laughs> Bitch, you better have my money, ho. Bitch, you better have my money. <laughs> Bitch, you better have my money, right? Yeah. Gonna be here for a Bitch, while? Have, have a Snickers bar. <laughs> my truck up the road and I ran out of gas, so I don't wonder. Ooh. Gonna be here for a while? Have a Snickers bar. Good afternoon, I'm Mr. Reynolds and I will be administering your driving test. I suggest you just relax and I'm sure everything will go fine. Okay. Reynolds, you so nice, <laughs> so fine. Shoot, maybe we need to do this test from the back seat. <laughs> uh, why don't you start by adjusting your mirrors? Oh, okay. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? I'm fixing my makeup. Okay, we really need to get going, okay, please? I said I'll be done in a minute. Can't you let a sister fix her makeup? Shoot, what if I'm driving and Denzel Washington roll up next to me? Shoot, and I'm looking toe up from the neck up? I don't think so. Now we need to do that, leave Shringle Jackson. All right, fine. C could you please hurry? Okay. All right. All right. Oh, but buckle up for safety first. Anybody ever tell you you look like a white Wesley Snipes? <laughs> no, but thank you. You do. You do. Okay. Oh, um, you mind if I put on a little music? It will help relax me. Um, it's not really DMV policy, but... I suppose I'll make an exception. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh that's my jam. <laughs> Ma'am, you need 
need to need to be careful. Oh, 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 there's a oh, there's a oh, coming. Oh, oh, there's, a, there's a truck coming. There's, there's a truck coming beneath us. There's a truck. What? There's a truck coming right here. There's a truck. Wait, wait, wait. There's a truck. Wait, what you doing? You almost hit that truck. I see no truck. Well, I did. <laughs> well, I did. Don't you think if I seen a truck, I would have swerved out of the way in time? What you trying to say? Black people are too lazy to turn a steering wheel? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Okay, now what you need to do, Buffina. Who need fuck? What you need to do is let a sister take her test and get her driving on. That's what you need to do, okay? All right, then get your driving on. <laughs> but please try to be careful. Okay, I will. Put on your blinker before you pull out. Okay. Your blinker's still on. Yeah. I know. You need to turn it off. But I'm gonna make a laugh. When? I don't know yet. Okay, when you leave your blinker on, it confuses the drivers behind you. Oh, so now I gotta worry about the drivers behind me and the drivers on the side of me and the drivers in front of me. I'm trying to drive my car. I ain't got time for all that. Please just turn off the damn blinker. Okay, why are you cussing at me? Why are you yelling at me? No, what did no, I do? I'm not cussing. What did I do? I'm not cussing. Why are you did? You just cussed. You said damn, damn. I'm trying you said, to help damn, you out. Damn, damn. I'm trying to why are you help you out. What did I do? The, what did I do? The, the what did I do? I'm trying. What did I do? I'm trying. What did I do? I'm trying. What did I do? 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 What who you calling a bitch? Do I look like your mama? But, but no, no, no. Oh, yeah, but let me tell you something. Mr. Riddle is going to handle it. He's going to take care of you. He's going to no, bust no, your no, ass. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, you're going to let him call me a bitch? No, I'm not. You're going to let him I'm, call me a no, bitch? No, I don't want to. I am. Yo, watch your sorry ass pop pull over. No. Mr. Riddle's going to take care of you like a real man. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Believe it, don't pull over. Do not pull this car over. You don't know what kind of people these people can be. They can be murderers or worse, all right? Look at me. Look at me. Look at my eye. All right? I got your back, partner. Now, you just go on out there and handle yours. Go on. Ooh, damn. They bigger than I thought. <laughs> This is ridiculous, all right? I'm going to reason with that. Hello, I'm with the Department of Motor Vehicles, and I just wanted to say it! Ooh, damn, that look like that hurt. Do it like Tyson and go for the ear! Ooh, Lord. Hello? Hey, Sonya. What? Oh, no, girl. Half off at the booty tree? <laughs> uh, I'm there. In fact, I can finish this test myself. Let me see. Check, 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 and pass. Hey, yeah. yeah. I'm cranking it. Pull out of the way, check it. and jump in, gentlemen. Please put it all together for the man with the funky playing. The funky woke a dirty talker himself, Desperation Lee. Well, that was the funky walk, and this is the dirty talk. Come here, come here. Baby, I want to crawl under your sink and bang my wrench on your plug. Hey, do y'all want to hear one more? Yeah! All right, listen up. Baby, I want to take one of them there donkey rides 
into your grand canyon. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get serious for a minute. As most of you know, this is National Funk Awareness Week. <laughs> and I don't know if y'all have noticed, but the funk is damn near extinct. <laughs> the earth is pulling up to the station, but the funk pumps, they are empty. <laughs> and why? Well, that is a question best answered by the national spokeswoman for funk awareness, Miss Carmen Electra. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the real reason behind global warming. <laughs> Carmen, welcome to the show, girl. Thanks, baby. Why don't you tell these people how they can help with the refunctification of America? All right, baby. In 1974, there were an estimated 17 million people walking the funky walk and talking the dirty talk. Today, there are less than 300 and they're all touring with Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> Carmen, if you take America and remove the funk, you know what you got? What? France. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but to me, them people are way too excited about cheese. I hear that desperation, but is our audience hearing us? <laughs> they, they ain't hearing us desperation. They, they ain't heard you, baby. They ain't heard me. Preach to them. <clears throat> Do you people really want your children growing up in a world without Bootsy Collins? No! A world where there's no Sanford and Son or Shaft? No! A world where Garth Brooks sells more records than James Brown? No! Well, I'm telling you, this country's got to get itself a brand new bag before the funk is as dead as disco. But, Carmen, what can we do? First, they need to start each day with some good, old-fashioned, dirty talk. <laughs> Desperation, shall we show them how it's done? Oh, let us. <laughs> Baby, I want to slide into your shopping mall Oof. and spend some time in the gal. Baby, mm -hmm. I want you to take out your stick mm. and rub it against me until you start a fire. <laughs> Baby, I wish I were Oscar Mayer's wiener. <laughs> Baby, I want you to make like an M&M &M and melt in my mouth, not in my hands. <laughs> If they don't get it after that, they ain't never going. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's time to go. I would just like to thank my beautiful guest, Carmen Electra. Yeah. Uh, now, girl, would you do me the honor of funky walking me out? Try and stop me. Come on, now. <laughs> Ashley, it's me, Will, from summer school, remember? We made God's eyes together and, and stuff like that. I thought, I thought that we, we should keep in touch, so I'm sending you this video letter. <laughs> I like... Because I... I... I, I, li I like... No, I... Sh no, hey, I'm trying to make a video. Don't you see what are you doing in here? Get out of here. Don't... Stop it. Stop it. Get... I'm sorry, that's, that's my, that's my little sister. She's a, she's a pest. Anyway, so I thought since you only live a couple of towns over, maybe we could hang out sometime. <laughs> you don't have to, we, we shouldn't, you know, you'd call it a day. Hey, I'm like, sexy. No, I don't. Give me the pill. Give me the pill. Give me the pill. Stop. 
go away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's. I don't. I don't want to sex you. I don't want to. I'm not. I mean, unless you like to do that sort of thing. <laughs> Listen, it's hard to get privacy. And I stop it. That's mine. Give me a second. You. That's my star chef. You broke He's my dead. No. Oh. You broke. Don't get up. Don't get up. Okay. Stay down. Be quiet. Be quiet. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I I, no, be quiet. I okay, I, I think, I, I, Ashley, I think that you're, I think you're pretty. Boopy. No. I, I think that's pretty. <laughs> that, you know what? I'm going to throw them off. That's it. Mom, I'm going to get mom. Get, mom. Away get away from the camera. Get away from the camera. Why do you feel like that, huh? Well, if I touch this camera, if I have to turn this camera, I, there's no time. Okay, I, I'm gonna kick the living crap right out of you. <laughs> so I was, I was thinking that I'd like to see you, whenever the camera's come by. I mean, it'd be really cool. You could take the bus on it. I don't want my bed. Get out of here. Get out right now. Get off my bed. Get off my bed. I don't stain the sheets. You stay. Get out of here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Do cry. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Please. Please stop crying. You're gonna get in trouble too. You're gonna get in trouble too if you die. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. Shh. What? Mom, I didn't do nothing. Shh. No, I didn't do nothing. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. No, nothing. All right. Shh. Okay, well, Mom. I'm just trying to make a video. Hello. <laughs> Or my show. Like the in the morning, like the, the lunchtime. We are stinking under. The dog picks his nose and eats it. Like this. Is, is. That is the show. That is the show. Again. See you around! Whoa. was the year that kept on giving, and Comedy Central's giving it right back. So many ass so little time. Louis Black, Dana Mattel, and D.L. Hughley are taking on one mind-numbing year. Comedy Central's Last Lap 07. Catch an encore tomorrow night at 10. Four ordinary guys. You didn't bring your truck with you, did you? Living the American comedy dream. That's funny right there. The big, big movie, Blue Collar Comedy Tour. Sunday at 8, here on Comedy Central. Oh, my God. They're filming this. Meet Robbie Carrington. You ever seen yourself naked on a home video camera? Up close and way too personal. Oh. What the hell is that, a mole? That's a tick. I thought it was a mole. What the Rodney Carrington. Ladies and gentlemen, especially the ladies, welcome to Mad TV. Where's all my mad sisters? Freaking A-right grand sisters. <laughs> My sister's real smart, and I make cool finger art. And who's Dot? 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 I come through with a heart.
and a cock that's cute. Let him move, I got me rain. White as cocaine. I'm a recurring woman now. Fuck me, young, cause I'm the reason man's back for season seven. Disagreeable, boo hoo, and tough luck. Cause to tell you the truth, I don't give a uh. High heel gals getting props through the screen. Four hot ass chicks from the mad TV. Mad TV! Uh. Melina. Oh, 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 oh my god! Lorraine. Ah, cute. Swan. Uh, 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 oh. Idiot girl. Look how little my gloves are. <laughs> what? We all let in that TV. Sony Classics presents Academy Award winner Al Pacino. Let me tell you something. You are going to be a star. The biggest star there ever was. Academy Award winner Robert De Niro. Hey, what makes you think I'm going to let nobody like you sing in my club, eh? I have dry mouth. I need a sugar-free root beer float, please. <laughs> sugar-free root beer float. <laughs> It's not your life. Watch, watch, you mess watch, up your life. Mess up your life a little bit. And Academy Award attendee Mariah Carey in Gutter. I need it. I want it. I have it. I have it. I want it. I have it. I need it. I want it. I need it. I want it. I need it. I want it. I need it. I love it. I have it. Peter Travers of Rolling Stone says it's official. I love everything. And this <gasps> is something. I have to take my pants off now. <laughs> What do you mean you're leaving me? Okay, is my skin shrinking <laughs> or am I growing? <laughs> Move me! <laughs> Don't you slam that door! And Peter Travers, film critic for Rolling Stone, exclaims, Brava! Only the divine LeGarry could sing so many songs without melodies. So effortless. It's as if she made them up as she went along. Hey, Hollywood, do the line. 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 Don't you mock me. Hey, hey, okay. do the line. Do the line. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I'll break your head off. You mock me one more time. Don't do the singing like a shit. Don't be singing like that. You're going to break some lights. Do the line. Gutter. Probably coming this Thanksgiving. Christmas at the latest. Mariah, shut up! Oh.